hurricane and tropical storm tree removal money saving tips. That's what I'm going to share with you on my next video. Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Mark Schreier and I'm a licensed sales associate with Century 21 American Homes Real Estate right here in Long Island, New York. I'm going to share with you some money saving tips. If you have a tree that you think needs to be removed because we are in hurricane season, which officially started June 1st, and that tree has been on your mind like a tree that I've had in the back of my house for many, many years, and I'm thinking about getting it removed, but it would cost me a significant amount of money if I did it. We just experienced uh, Tropical Storm Fay here on Long Island. And my luck, that tree sustained a significant crack in one of the large limbs that's lingering about 30 feet above the ground, about 10 feet above the utility company power lines. So luckily for me, it did not fall at that time. I needed to get that limb removed and I knew it could cost me a significant amount of money. So what I decided to do is call up PSE&G, our local utility company here on Long Island, because I was thinking that there's a good chance they might cover the cost or at least give me some tips on how to remove it because of its proximity to the power lines. So I did just that. I called up PSE&G. They sent down a um, team to come look at the actual problem and they actually sent the team pretty uh, quickly. So when that team came, they assessed the problem and they said, yes, they will remove it. However, they told me that they're not going to remove the debris because unlike when they prune the trees every um, fall here on Long Island and they come and cut down the healthy branches that are around the power lines. They said this is a different scenario. They will cut it and they're going to leave all the debris in my lawn. And I'm like, all right, go for it. I can't cut that limb down and it's going to save me a lot of money anyway in the long run. So that's exactly what I did. They cut down the tree. They did a great job actually doing it. Very professional. Didn't hit my fence. Didn't actually hit any part of my property. Um, and they also mentioned and gave me a good tip. They said to me, if I wanted that tree removed, that instead of calling a local contractor, which they told me legally the local contractors, the tree removal contractor should not even be getting involved in anything close to a power line. But they call, if you call the utility company, they'll come down and assess the actual each tree. And this tree, because of its um, actual distance from the power lines, they said they will remove majority of that tree at no charge. Again, they're not going to remove the debris from the tree, but if you coordinate it with a local tree removal contractor, they'll come do the brunt of the work. It's about a 100 foot tree by about 30 or 40 feet wide with a lot of limbs on it. They'll remove a significant amount from the power lines up pretty much and leave whatever is um, their safety requirement for the local contractor to remove all the debris, chip it up per se, and also remove um, or grind out the stump and everything else. So that would save me a significant amount of money. So I went on their website and I'm going to share that with you. If you see right here, you go on um, and this is actually PSE&G's website under tree removal and you look down where it says tree removal hazards and you just i will actually include a link um, to the website down in the comments below but if you go down how can you tell if a tree is a problem i'm not going to read through all that you can do it yourself uh what's not a hazard who do you call and then i came upon this which was something that was definitely new to me if you need a healthy tree removed even if you don't think it's that close to a power line if there's power lines anywhere in the vicinity of the tree and it doesn't just have to be the base or the trunk of the tree, they will come out and assess it. And they might not remove the whole tree, but they'll remove whatever part of the tree is what they call a liability or a possible safety issue for a local contractor to come and do. And whatever they do, they're doing at no cost other than your utility bill, naturally. So it says, need a healthy tree removed. If you need a healthy tree removed, that is within 10 feet of a primary or secondary wires. Now here's the uh, caveat. It's got to be from pole to pole. If it's from the pole to your house, 
it's not going to be, uh, they're not going to pick it up and do it. However, if you're not sure, call them. They don't charge you to come out. They'll assess the situation. They'll give you feedback on what you need to know, whether it's something your local contractor can do or something they will assist your local contractor in doing. With that being said, you're better off being safe than sorry. Anything that's near a power line, definitely call up your utility company. If it's not PSE&G, uh, find out what the utility company is that supplies electric in your town. And uh, it could save you a significant amount of cash. I would go on this website for all those people that look live on Long Island, find out all the contact information, give them a call. And uh, hope this was helpful. It saved me some aggravation. And this is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes. And thanks again for watching my video.